you know me, you know I love to hunt Texas. This place is unreal. And when you throw in the fact that it's a management hunt, I'm all in. Lots of shooting going on in this show. Hunting Habit is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, Mossy Oak, Loopold Optics, Rage Broadheads, Muzzy Bow Fishing, Avian X, Tracker Boats, Winchester Ammunition and nocturnal lighted knocks. First one out here in West Texas. The fog just came out of nowhere. It was clear as a bell last night when we went to bed, but this morning you can't even see the canyon floor. We love coming out here to the Allisons. There's no other place we deer hunt that looks like this. You're sitting on top of these big, huge canyons, shooting down in the bottom. The deer have no idea you're anywhere around. The sun's finally burning off the fog, and it's about to be go time. <laughs> Man, that freaking dumped him right there. Oh, that's the first one down. We waited out the fog, and I, that's only my second half, or third half lane I've ever killed, and I killed every one of them out here. That was awesome. We seen him about 400 yards up the road, and I was wanting to shoot him in the case, like, just wait, wait, wait. He's coming. I mean, twinkle toes. Check it out. Bang master. I mean, the fang daddy. Look at that. <laughs> Dude's got some chomps, man. He wasn't ready. I brain the old chap. That's why the lights went out so quick in Georgia just then this morning. But we're off to a heck of a start here in Texas. And hopefully this is just the first of many things we get to shoot this week. I only get one more of these. You only get two out here in Texas. But uh, if we get into another water, I might have to throw Caleb the gun and let him cut down on some. But I got one more and uh, let's go get some deer. We back. This is the infamous busted biscuit blind. For those folks that don't know, everybody in Texas must be about 110 pounds. You put two grown men in one of these little shooting houses in the camera gear, and we're spilling out the edge of this mother. Tonight, we're hunting with the 350 Legend. This is the first time I've got to hunt with this cartridge since it got introduced this year. It's a cool little round. It's a straight wall. And Winchester actually got cartridge of the year this year for it. But it's 180 grain, soft boy. So hopefully it's gonna put the damage on one of these big bucks tonight. In typical Texas fashion, as soon as the feeder goes off, the deer start showing up. And now we manage. I'm gonna shoot him if he gets up there and be still. Holy smokes. Dude, I've never shot a deer that jumped that freaking high. That dude jumped out of there like a horse coming out of the chute. That was awesome. Hey, we got a nice eight pointer down. And uh, I mean, we still got about 30 minutes for dark. So we're gonna keep on banging. Not five minutes after we shoot that first buck, here comes the mega coal. 
I don't get me a little sticker that says manager. Good buck, good buck. Oh, God, God. That's a big buck. Hey, hang on. I'm getting the 300 out. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. I ain't messing around with this one right here, dude. That's him. Solid, roly poly oly. The 350 did good. I was proud of it. But when Big Daddy stepped out, I had to speech back over here and grab this 300. And you see what happened. Put him out like a cigarette. That was tragic. That is a big eight. That is the definition of management there. And dude, I'm pumped. Killed a javelin this morning and just dumped two eight pointers. I love Texas. I'm moving to Texas. How beautiful was that? It's tragic, dude. If anybody needs any tips or any help managing your deer herd, just hit me up. I think I got this whole thing figured out. Look, I don't care about shooting the biggest. Just let me shoot something. Oh, yeah. Dang, that deer's as good as I thought he was. Nice. That's what we came for. Man, he stinks to high heaven. But these big older eight pointers, they just want taken out of the herd. And nothing makes me happier. They're shooting a good deer and then also shooting one that they don't want. That makes a lot of people happy, including me. Some say coal, management, whatever you want to call it. I mean, dude, that's a dang good deer. Did I do good? I didn't do bad. That's all I need to hear is I didn't do bad. You did what you're supposed to do. For okay. Once. For once? once. <laughs> hey, you'll be proud of me. I let another one go. That was the last place we seen him go. I was aiming right there and I just pulled it. I guess I pulled it. I mean, it's 175 yards. So, but I mean, hey, that's the first gun or the first deer I've shot with that 350. And uh, to make a crappy shot, I mean, he didn't go what, 30 yards and lots of blood. It ain't pretty, but we ain't pretty. We always say we're not pretty, it's just happened. affected. Another, yeah. Another, another management buck, huh? Two bucks and a javelina on day one. This ain't a bad way to start off this trip. back at it out here in West Texas. This morning, unlike yesterday, it was completely fogged out. Couldn't even see the canyon floor at daylight. Today, it's beautiful. It's got down a little bit cooler, and it's crystal clear. We got a, looks like a small eight down here in front of us, a couple does. We're fixing to get on the gun so it gets a little bit more light. Game on. That's a long ways. I'll be honest with you. 317. That's a poke for me. I ain't you shoot that far. If you shoot that far at the house, it, it just it just don't happen. But we knocked the fire out of him. He ran over about 25 yards and piled up, so that's one down. Now we make the drive down to the bottom of the canyon to start the recovery party. And everybody's there. and recover this dude. You can see up there on top of that hill is where we were this morning. It's amazing when you get down here in the bottom, that does not look like 317 yards, but it is, trust me. When you get up there, it looks like it's 3,000 down here. There he is. I knew he didn't make it far. That's one thing I can't touch at 300. What's the deal with the management bucks out here? Because I know a lot of people 
they see us shooting all these little eight pointers and they're like, what the heck are they doing out here? Well, what we want is, you know, mature deer that are, by the time they're, you know, two years old or already eight point at least. And we get these deer that are hitting three years old and, and higher and they're only eight points and less than 130 inches is just undesirable. Well, Texas is totally different than anywhere else. You know, that's the cool thing about it. You guys got, you can sit here and take a look at a thousand acres, you know, whereas like in Georgia, we can't see 30 yards. So y'all yeah. got a better idea of what you got and what you don't have. And that's one thing I can say, like on the management side of it, y'all doing a heck of a job. This is our fourth year coming out here and the deer are definitely getting bigger. I mean, heck, we seen two big bucks this morning. Yesterday, we seen a giant nine pointer. And you know, the first year we come out here, there was does everywhere and a bunch of little bitty bucks, but it's like every year we come, whatever y'all doing is working because it's just getting bigger and bigger. That's about as much hunting as we could put into one show, but have no fear, there's gonna be a part two to Texas. We're back over here on the other side of the canyon.